Welcome to Business Innovators Radio, featuring industry influencers and trendsetters sharing proven strategies to help you build a better life right now. Hi, and welcome to Business Innovators Radio. I'm your host, Ken Sherman. Today on the show, we have Sri Bandari. Shridi is a photographer in the San Francisco Bay Area that specializes in portraits and photo stories. And today we're talking about what is a photo story and how is it used to promote a nonprofit or even for personal branding. Welcome to the show, Shridi. Thank you, Ken. Great to be on the show. So, Shridi, I'm curious, what got you interested in photography? How did you get started in this field? Well, my first seed of interest in photography was when I was in my final days of college in Delhi. I was born and raised in India. And I watch uh, this uh, slideshow of photographs set to music, and it was so captivating, so emotional, so moving, and so touching that it truly touched my heart. And that's the first time that I even thought of the power of photography and how beautiful it was. That same very year in 1991, our family moved to New York City when my dad's job transfer took us to uh, United States. And the move to New York really came at a perfect time. It gave me an opportunity to explore photography. And so that's how I got started once we moved to New York by taking classes at my college and also at School of Visual Arts and International Center of Photography in Manhattan. You know, some of the most successful guests that I talked to have a similar story in that they found something they were really passionate about, even as a child or, or coming up, and, and that's the field they went into. And, and those are some of the happiest people, I think, uh, I, I talked to. <laughs> Uh, tell me tell me a little bit about your perfect client. Who is it that you work best with? My perfect client is someone who truly values and treasures photography, and they really see the value of hiring a professional to do their portrait work. They want beautiful artwork of their loved ones. Um, they want these beautiful memories and also want beautiful products that can be created out of those photographs. I will give you a, an example. A couple of months ago, I uh, was delivering uh, portraits to my clients. They were definitely my ideal clients. They were great to work with. And as I was giving a photo book to them, and along with that, they had ordered iris files. So I gave them that in a USB. And the wife handed the USB to her husband and said, let's put that in a safe. (laughs) And uh, that just... uh, you know, made my heart skip a beat because when someone values what you do so much that they want to put it in a safe, that's truly, truly special. Sure. I know just the family pictures we've had taken through the years are really special. You see the kids growing up and you don't think they're they're so little, but you look back a couple of years down the road at, at pictures and suddenly you realize, boy, they're growing up quick. And it's something that I truly uh, value as a mom as well, you know, being a mother to three kids myself. I know how fast my kids are growing and how much they change every year. So it's something that I diligently try to do every year is is my own family portraits. You know, there's something I'm curious about. Uh, With the advancements in technology today, there are cameras, digital cameras that anyone can go and get, and, and they take really great pictures. I'm just curious, in today's day and age with so many people that own a digital camera, why should someone use a professional photographer like you? Are there are there drawbacks of not going with a professional? Yes, absolutely. I think uh, even in today's day and age with all the advances that digital photography has made, I think it's absolutely critical to hire professional photographers. And I think we don't just hire photographers for their gear, but also for their experience, their expertise, and most important of all, for their photographic eye. I think there's a certain visual way of seeing, and uh, when you hire a professional, they have a certain point of view and a certain expression of that, and I think that's what truly sets their work apart and makes the photograph and the memories really special. You know, it's not just taking pictures. There's a lot that goes into that, right? There's, you know, framing and retouching and lighting. and Absolutely. So there's a lot that goes into the portrait session, and... Uh, The service that I provide to my clients, it's three-tier, you could call it. It's a a three-step process. I always meet with my clients for the pre-portrait consultation. That's usually my first meeting with them, and I find out, you know, what they're looking for because every client is different. Without that meeting, I wouldn't know what they're looking for, how their space is, what kind of wall space they have, or are they looking 
for photo books or other types of products. And it's this consultation that also gives me a chance to guide them. Um, you know, I'm truly their guide when it comes to their portrait session in terms of clothing and location because a lot of times clients will struggle, especially with clothing, I think. Uh, that's one of the biggest questions that my clients have when I meet with them for the pre-portrait consultation is like, what should I wear and how do I make my husband wear this or my kids wear this or how do I coordinate it all and how do we want to make it look perfect so that you want to make a huge canvas of it and put it on your wall. So there's a lot of planning that goes into the portrait session and of course on the day of the session when I'm meeting them on location, you know, I tell them what to bring especially with younger kids and sometimes with spouses who are reluctant. And also, you know, when I'm meeting them, I'm showing them products, I'm giving them ideas, I'm sharing what some of the other clients have done and uh, see what they love, you know, what is it that they want to create out of their family portrait. So I'm doing a design consultation with them after the portrait session where I'm sharing the pictures and I can actually show them what something will look like on their wall. So if their wall is a certain size, I can project on that, you know, what a frame or a canvas is going to look on their wall. So it really gives them a good sense. You know, a lot of times people don't want to order something really big or they think, oh, 30 by 40 is too big for my wall. That will never fit in my home. But when you actually show it to them, they are blown away. You know, sometimes people have a wall space that really supports that. And especially when you create a wall cluster for them or a wall grouping, and that's a collection of maybe three to five or six canvases, that truly makes it remarkable. You know, that really sets it apart and really creates that wow factor. And that's what I strive for, to create for my clients. And you don't get sure. that with uh, just a digital camera. Uh, you know, you get a lot of service from someone like you that can give people ideas and explain to them what it's going to look like and show them ideas like that. I want to talk a little bit about something that you you sort of specialize in. It's a, kind of a unique concept. Uh, you've mentioned photo books, but there's something you do called a photo story. Can you tell us a little bit more about what is a photo story? Photo story is a combination of words and pictures, and it can be uh, presented in a magazine-style feature story, or it can be presented as a video, you know, because videos are so popular now, and video format is great for photo stories as well. What a photo story does is it tells a story with still photographs and captions in a very compelling way. As powerful as photography can be, I think if you add some text to it, whether it's some captions or an introduction to the story, it just makes it that much more powerful in getting your point across. That's what a photo story is, and I actually have a background in photojournalism. I have a master's degree from the University of Missouri, Columbia, which is one of the top photojournalism schools in the country, and I uh, love that combination, you know, of words and pictures and, and putting it together in a powerful story. So a photojournalism degree, were you planning on going into the news field or what, what were your intentions early on? There was some point where I thought that I might be interested in the news field, but I actually was hired by National Geographic right after I graduated and I worked as a picture editor in Washington, D.C. at their headquarters for four years. And I wouldn't call myself too interested in the, in the journalism field, but I was always interested in writing and storytelling. I love inspiration, so I think that's what drives me to photo stories is that inspirational aspect of it and also just telling a positive story and making a difference in the world. Can you give me some examples of photo stories you've done in the past for clients and maybe how they've used them in their business or enhanced their personal image? So photo stories can be of many different types. You know, they can be personal, they can be um, about a person who is inspiring in your life, for example, a grandma who is turning 70 or 75 and uh, she's this rock of the family and how you want to celebrate her life, it can be about her. And it can also be about someone who has overcome something challenging in their life. I did a photo story in Arlie Smith who found out that he had cancer and also multiple sclerosis, but he did not let that stop him from moving 
uh, attention not so much on him but on the fundraising that he wanted to do for a children's hospital. He put that entire negative experience into something positive and made a huge difference by raising thousands and thousands of dollars. Photo stories can also be about someone that represents what a nonprofit can do. An example of that is also on my website. Adam Byrne is an Army veteran and he suffered from trauma and post-traumatic stress disorder and how a nonprofit called Project Welcome Home Troops um, helped him overcome that. So it just helps them spread their message to more people and uh, have more people support their cause. Photo stories can also be a very powerful tool for businesses and entrepreneurs who are following their passion and also have a very powerful why of why they do what they do in the world and uh, they want to share that message with their client, with their audience. It can also highlight an employee in a company. You know, if you think about companies and how they can highlight employees who have done something inspiring and they can kind of become like ambassadors, you know, of their, of their company. It sounds like a photo story is a, really a great way for a business to promote their image and maybe connect with their prospects and customers in a way that wasn't really possible before. This could be done, obviously, on a digital format, in a website, or even in video format, right? Yes, absolutely. I think storytelling really connects us. You know, it shows our common humanity. It shows our connection. It really builds that loyalty, with, whether it's to a brand or to a company or to a person. I think it can be great in that regard. And I think it's a, it makes a big difference these days. People want to do business with other businesses they connect with, uh, people they connect with on a more personal level. We tend to do business with people we know, like, and trust. And what a great way to to build that connection with a photo story. Where is it that you work with clients? I know you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, but do you travel around the country or do people come to you in in the Bay Area there for uh, portrait sessions and and photo story sessions? So I work primarily outdoors in the Bay Area and we are blessed uh, to live in a part of the country where you can photograph outdoors pretty much year round. For portrait sessions, you know, we have great locations locally that I work at. And for photo stories, it really depends on what the story is about and what's the best way to tell it. So it could be indoor in the client's home or it could be outdoors. Uh, It really depends on what the story is and, and how it needs to be told. And you work with primarily clients in the Bay Area and people people come to the Bay Area to work with you? Yes, primarily in the Bay Area right now, but um, I do travel on occasion. Now, I know on your website you've got some resources for folks that are looking to have a portrait session done. I think you've got a a downloadable report about what to bring to your photo session to have a great experience. Those types of resources are available on your website. Maybe you can tell people how to reach you for more information about a photo story or, or a portrait session. Sure, and also I have a great resource on my website, which is a free video of how to take great uh, vacation photos. You know, we all love going on vacation, and we all love taking pictures on a vacation, so why not use some simple tips to create better uh, pictures out of your vacation? So that's another resource that I have on my website. I also have this guide that's downloadable, which is a PDF of uh, how to have an amazing portrait experience. So that covers everything uh, that we briefly touched upon, whether it's clothing or location or even photographing with pets. Sometimes clients will have simple questions, like I just got a question from a client today uh, whose daughter wears glasses, and she was asking, well, should I have my daughter wear glasses or not for the portrait? So just simple things like that. Sometimes clients don't know. Uh, what the best option is, or if their kids have braces. Um, sometimes clients will hold off for years for their braces to come off, and I tell them they don't have to. You know, braces are easy to retouch and remove if they don't want them in the picture, so they don't have to wait till their kids are two or three years older till the braces come off for getting portraits done. So you can find all of these resources on my website in pursuitofpictures.com. And you can also reach me through email, shriti at inpursuitofpictures.com. That's S-H-R-I-T-I at I-N-P-U-R-S-U-I-T of pictures.com. Through my contact form and my phone number, which is 925-998-3288. Shriti, thank you so much for taking time today and meeting with us and 
being on the show. I appreciate it. It was interesting learning about photo stories and how they can be used to build a personal brand. Thank you, Ken. Great being on the show. Thanks for listening to Business Innovators Radio. To hear all episodes featuring leading industry influencers and trendsetters, visit us online at businessinnovatorsradio.com today.